Welcome to the Doggo Bake Show. I'm your host, Joanne Cabarus. We're gonna be sculpting dogs with polymer clay using minimal tools and lots of imagination. Come on in. Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my sculpting show. If you're new to watching my show, welcome. I encourage you to watch all other episodes before this video so you can follow the stories of our dog neighborhood. And for some of you who have been watching my show, thank you very much. In America, April 19th was the National Garlic Day. With everything that has been happening in the last year, I figure I'd eat some for its healing properties. Mmm. So I will be munching on raw garlic while I'll sculpt for you today. Today's episode is Australian Shepherd, aka Aussie! Woo woo woo! <laughs> Stay in one place, right there. Stay close to each other. Nope, nope, you can't go there. Stay close. I repeat, stay close. Oh, there is Weimar. I think he's about to ship packages. Oh, oh, I said stay close. <laughs> hmm, let me check up on him. Hello, Weimar. I see that you are shipping packages again. That's several items you've sold there. Yep, making big bucks doing this. I started selling online not too long ago. And there's not a day I never sold anything. It's amazing. Oh, Waymar. That dog is very business-minded. Actually, he's the one who gave me the idea to sell my sculpting products online. See? Here's one of my products, a sculpting starter kit. See, you got some apron in there, some materials to use, and here's some clay. Ta-da! And there's some more upcoming products that I'm creating. Yeah, check out my website, doggobake.com. I'm serious. My store is up now and running. Come visit it, okay, after you watch this video. I'll call Aussie now so we can get started sculpting an Australian Shepherd. Aussie! Aussie, come up here. I'm going to sculpt you now. Oh, I think I'm hearing Joanne now. She's calling you, Ozzy. Yeah, I know. Anyway, congratulations again with the success in the online business. Thanks. Oh, Waymar. Yeah? I forgot the puppies. Could you please watch them for me too? Oh, sure. Ay ay ay, I'm slacking. Oh, there you are. Hi, Aussie. The puppies are well behaved. Good job on herding these dogs. It's my pleasure, Joanne. Without you, I don't know how to keep this place organized. Raw garlic? I can't chew this garlic. What's that taste like? Oh. Joanne, don't puke. Mm, mm. Joanne! Mm. Why do you even mm. need to do that? Oh. I'll see. <coughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's start sculpting now. Okay, let's start sculpting then. I'm excited. You're gonna need polymer clay color black, brown, white, and gold. Toothpicks, brush and baby oil, and any tool with rounded tip. Doggo Bake Show, Doggo Bake Books, and a sculpting tutorial for the Australian Shepherd will be found in the Doggo Bake Book 2.
forming this dog is not the easiest because it requires some smearing effect and with this one it's either you work slower so you get the smearing effect right or if you make a mistake you just put another clay on top to hide it as you can see we did some marbling effect with the clay and then we apply that to the sculpture with this one it's fun to play around with color blending the more variety of colors you have the more interesting your sculpture can look like we're gonna smoothen the surface out with brush and baby oil and we're gonna bake it nothing is touching the heating element settings between 250 to 275 depending on how thick your sculpture is make sure it's on the bake not toast and 30 minutes i'm going to make this quick never feed garlic to your dogs onions garlics uh-uh no don't feed them there's some nutrients in garlics and onions that are not safe for dogs if you don't know why research it okay mm. Mm -mm. what do you think about this dog breed it's not very easy to make if you take it slow you will definitely able to create this very easily it's really not that bad you don't have to really be perfect with a smearing effect unless you're copying specific spots with that being said just follow the book and you will be able to create this dog breed with no problem i'm really appreciative that this episode made me eat raw garlic this is really good for your health and i don't want to waste it so i'm gonna eat all of it Ooh, uh, let's test this to Petri. Petri boy, come here. Ah, you died! Don't forget to grab your copies of the Doggo Bake 1, 2, and 3 to learn how to create lots of dog breeds. Subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and friends. See you again next Friday for another dog. Rifa.